There's a lot of talk that the American dream is dead. The American dream. What is the American dream? There's a lot of platitudes put out there about what it is, what it isn't, how it's died. And I'm here to tell you the American dream has not died. The American dream isn't even on life support. What's going on with the American dream is many Americans are not as sturdy as previous generations. If you have the good fortune to have one of your great grandparents still around, ask them about the Great Depression. Ask them about World War II when they were rationing tin. They had food and sugar coupons. You can only get so much sugar. You can only, this is, and this is something we did as a country. One of the problems is social media. And when the social media isn't, quote, bad, but social media gives people insights on things that they would not normally see. You wouldn't have a billionaire with a YouTube channel talking smack. You wouldn't have a model who's showing you their lives. So people see this stuff and they're like, yeah, that's wonderful, but what about me? And one of the things that goes missing is many of these people are exceptional. They're exceptionally talented. They're exceptionally good looking. They're exceptionally smart. There is something super, super special about these people. But then you have normal folks looking at exceptional people and wondering why their lives are not like the lives of these exceptional people. So this creates resentment. This creates a level of anxiety. This creates a level of apprehension that these people feel that life is passing them by when you never had a shot at that type of life to begin with. This is why many people feel that the American dream is dead, that the American dream is no longer attainable. What happened is America has become fair and it will become even more fair. All of these things, all these social changes that are happening right now, women have more rights than ever in history and they're going to get a few more. Now, with that, men are still imprisoned. From the social contract of the 60s on back, men had a responsibility, women have a responsibility, but the women have been set free. But the men are still held captive. The men are still held hostage. And the men are not really happy about that, which is creating a big, big opportunity for men who know how to navigate this situation. Depending upon who you are, what your mindset is, these are the worst of times or these are the best of times. But they're the same times. The only thing is different is the difference in the mindsets of the people who are living these times. We're about to enter a recession. All of the signals are there. Certain sectors are already in the recession. The tariffs that Donald has imposed are just making this thing happen even quicker. So what does one want to do? Keeping in mind that you can leverage into the American dream during a recession. How does one do this? How does one have the ability to potentially leap frog two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten social classes? I'm going to tell you in this video, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give you strategies. And for those of you, who really want to accelerate your results, there'll be a coaching offer toward the end. Because the American dream ain't dead. I'm a living, breathing witness of the American dream. I grew up in the house with no running water. True story. We had to get up in the middle of the night, go through the kitchen, through the back porch, down the stairs, through the garden to use an outhouse. I've transcended all that. But part of the reason that I transcended all that is I started off so low. So everything was up to me. Now you have many people who never went through such a situation and I don't want you to go through such a situation, but you're going to have to be tougher. You're going to have to be smarter. You're going to have to have more tenacity because America is more fair. That's what's happening. This is what's throwing everybody because America is now more fair. There is no one quote, 
dominant class. Everyone has a shot at the American dream, which means that everyone is competing for those dollars. Everyone is competing for those jobs. Everyone is competing for those opportunities and everyone has a shot. This is a problem for some people who are unable, unwilling, don't want to compete. They want to go back to the way things used to be, which was easier for that dominant class. Well, the dominant class is no longer the dominant class. There are, more, there are no gatekeepers. If you want to write a book and make it an, a bestseller, you could put it out. If you want to be a TV star, you can start a YouTube channel and become a TV star. If you want to be a model, you can go to Instagram and you can beca you become a model. Instagram models are making more money than model models. The American dream, it ain't dead. It ain't even close to dead. But what's happened is the American spirit has died. Many people have become complacent. Many people want things that they're not entitled to simply because they're breathing. I'm going to get a lot of heat for this, but I don't care. Just because you work 40 hours a week does not mean that you deserve the same lifestyle that I have. No, I worked hard for this and you need to work hard for this. And if that comes across as being elitist, so be it. I'll deal with it. I'll own it. The deal is we don't want things to be fair. The more unfair that they are, the more opportunities and the ability to leverage that unfairness into greatness, into money, into position, into fame. If it's all fair, we'll be a communist nation. So buckle up, get ready, take notes, because we're going to do this thing. Should start shortly. I'm a renegade and I'm